Don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh, is it gonna work? Okay. I hope that my camera doesn't fall. I have it kind of on a makeshift tripod. But anyways, hi and welcome to A Ram's Life if you are new. I am a second year and this video is going to be about my experience in the college of business and answers to a few questions from my Instagram. My Instagram is jamie.itt. If you ever have any questions about CSU, you can message me there. Um, I know that the college process is really hard in choosing your college, so I hope that this video helps clear up any questions that you may have about the College of Business or CSU in general. Um, I am, so let's actually, let's just get into it because otherwise I can talk for way too long without any questions. So, okay, first question. What is my major in concentration? So my major is a bachelor in science in business administration and my concentration is organization and innovation management. So this is pretty much a fancy way to say that I am a management slash entrepreneurship major. So OIM, organization and innovation management, has a bunch of entrepreneurship classes as well as management. Um, so I am interested in both. And so it's a, the perfect concentration for me other concentrations in the College of Business include an accounting concentration, finance concentration, financial planning, human resource management, information systems, international business, marketing, organization and innovation management, real estate, and lastly, supply chain management. So the concentration is essentially what your specific business interest is. I will put a link down below that has more information about each concentration. Because I am OIM, I can only really speak for OIM, but I have taken at least one class for each of these concentrations. And what's awesome about that is that it's required to take a basis of each subject, which I think is great because although I may not, okay, no, see, I'm going on a tangent. Okay, second question. What have been your favorite business classes? And I wrote these down because I want to be clear, concise, want to give you the most information that I can. So I loved Business 100 when I was a freshman. I had Shelly and Cassie as my teachers and they just were super, super sweet. Helped me through um, deciding what concentration I wanted, answering questions. And what's really cool about Business 100 is that you have guest speakers from each of the concentrations. Like for example, the account, one of the accounting professors will come in and share more about that concentration so that you can make an informed decision. And that's kind of nice because I wasn't sure what concentration I wanted until I took Biz 100. Um, another favorite was Fundamentals of Entrepreneurship. I love all things entrepreneurship. So we had a project where we found a need in the market, created a product for it or a idea for a project, and then created a presentation that would be shown to potential investors and it was just cool seeing how entrepreneurs do it from the start um, and also just the realities of entrepreneurship which were kind of harsh but take that class to understand the true realities of entrepreneurship and also I currently love my marketing and management classes um, that's just where my interest is mostly and my professors are super nice and funny and play like movie video clips and relate that to class which I really love and it makes lecture a little bit more fun especially when it's online. Alright, third class or third question. Least favorite classes. I'd have to say macro and microeconomics although I am still grateful that I took them because I do want to be a manager or have my own business I need to understand how the economy works as a whole from a macro scale and from a micro scale so now I do have that knowledge it's just when I was taking the class it was kind of tough um, but again when you're in business it's really crucial to understand every aspect instead of like for example just accounting you need to understand why it's important and um, be able to look out for red flags that might help your business if that makes sense I feel like that's a really complicated way to say that it's gonna put you ahead if you understand every part of business and still, instead of just one aspect. So that's why I am so grateful for these classes that I didn't necessarily love. Also accounting, managerial and financial accounting have been a little bit tough for me just because I am more people based. That's why I'm going into management. They haven't been too bad, but I had to choose my least favorite. So those would probably be it. What's good about having to take a class in each of the concentrations, meaning like a finance class, accounting class, and stuff like that when you're in the College of Business. I declared my concentration OIM my second semester of freshman year, and I 
would have never known that I liked HR as well until I took HR and I probably wouldn't have if I wasn't required to do so. So I'm very glad that we have to take one in each um, concentration. One, because then it helps you understand every part of business instead of just one aspect and two, it gives you an opportunity to find out that oh you actually like this better or um, you also like this. So for me personally I took HR and now I think that I'm gonna get an HR certificate so it's just taking a few extra classes and then you can get a certificate in something and I just really found out that I was interested in it and then I talked about what I learned in my HR class as I was interviewing for a marketing internship and they were like honestly it sounds like you would do really well in our HR program and now this summer I have a internship in HR talent acquisition and that's just cool because I wouldn't have had that opportunity or probably wouldn't have gotten that internship if I hadn't taken that class and hadn't realized my true interest, at least right now. Moral of the story, it's really good that you learn all of business and I just love the college business, okay? Okay, next question, is it hard? So I'm guessing this means like business classes or college in general. Um, I'd say college is not easy, obviously, but it really depends on your classes and your learning your learning method and how well your high school prepared you for college. So I wouldn't say college is easy, but it's not impossible. Um, I've made it on the Dean's List the last three semesters, so all of the time that I've been at college. So I've done this by talking to my teachers, having clear communication, um, planning out two weeks in advance for things, always being on top of my, or at least hopefully always being on top of my schoolwork. But yeah, I'd say it's not impossible, but it's definitely not easy. Like if you think that you're just gonna get by by not studying and not doing your homework, that's not realistic. Um, you really gotta be committed um, to doing well and then you will succeed in my mind. Next question, what are key communities? So I was in a business key community my freshman year and essentially what this was for me personally was I was a part of a key community with about 20 other freshmen and we all lived in H wing of Corbett I think or G wing I can't remember it's only been a year but I already can't remember and what was really cool about key community is that I lived by everyone who was in my key community and in the beginning of the year especially we had orientation key events on top of Ram welcome if that's confusing it pretty much means that when I first came here I didn't know anyone, I'm from out of state, and so I loved how he gave me another subgroup of people that I could feel a community in. So not only did they live by me, we had a lot of get to know you events at the beginning of the year, um, but also you have the same at least two classes with everyone who's in your key community. So I had business 100 and like ethics or something with them first semester and then it changed second semester but it was just nice to kind of how many times can I say community but I felt that community and also it felt similar to high school like living in the same town having the same classes I would definitely recommend key community I loved it especially for the beginning of the year when I didn't know anyone and I think that you apply to become it in the key communities I would just google it key community CSU and there's unique key communities for each major as well I believe now I just kind of want to talk about the other be benefits of the College of Business that I wasn't really aware of before attending CSU. Downstairs at the College of Business, there are the advisors, and the advisors help you one-on-one -on -one plan your class schedule, which is really, really helpful because planning classes and making sure that you graduate on time can be really tricky, and they're there to help you through it all, which is super nice. But the thing that I didn't know that we had was the Career Center upstairs. So this is a group of professors and individuals who can um, counsel you so help you kind of choose what you want to do with your life um, they can help you find internships they will look over your resume they can help you build your resume they can help with cover letters applications all that stuff their goal is to help you have a secure job by the time you graduate 
and they want to do this by first helping you find an internship, which is really helpful and really generous of them. All of them are so sweet. The environment is in there is so nice. I was in there a lot um, last year trying to build my resume and trying to apply to different jobs and they were just super helpful and a really great group of people that I feel like not a lot of majors have access to. Um, they are only for the College of Business. Um, so yeah, I just want to shout them out. Like, they are amazing and I feel like no one really knows about that resource. Also, there is free printing if you are a business student, which is a plus, even though it's a small one, it's a plus. And then also benefits of going to CSU is that all Microsoft programs are free, so like, yeah, just everything. There's also a writing program that they will look over your essays or your resumes or anything like that and they will help edit it for completely free. If you're unsure what you want to do with your life, which honestly I'm there with you, but I would really recommend the College of Business. They have something for everyone. If you're a numbers person, there's something for you. If you're a people person, there's something for you. If there's something in between, I bet you can guess what I'm going to say. There's something for you. And what's really cool about coming in as a business student is that then you don't have to do a separate application for it. Whereas if you come in as undeclared or something like that, you have to take microeconomics and business calc and to have at least 15 credits, I believe, and then you can apply to join the business program because it is competitive, but if you come in as a business student like I did, I never had to apply, and I took those classes after I was already in the College of Business. So that's a long way of saying that if you're unsure, I would say go for it as you apply so that you don't have to wait to get into the program. If you have any additional questions about the College of Business, please, please, please leave them in the comments below or ask me on my Instagram at jamie.itt. And I'm so excited that you watched this video. If you're thinking about CSU or the College of Business, I'm so excited for you. But anyways, I know that I could go on and on about the College of Business because I've loved what it, it has given me and I'm so excited to continue to learn in the COB. I just hope that you are all doing well and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to A Ram's Life because it really supports our channel. And yeah, again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.